our guest of honor tonight to kind of give us some marching orders. Listen, man, it would be an honor and a privilege and a pleasure to be just even in the presence of this gentleman here. I told you last night what I learned from him and how he impacts my life in such a personal way. Uh, and, and as it relates to my personal growth, my personal development. But those are the kind of nuggets that he brings. That is what he teaches. He's one of the most sought after, best motivational speakers in the country. I mean, he's commanded stages of audience of tens of thousands of people. I've never seen anybody with this sort of range. I mean, and what this his depth. And he simplifies in such a way that, that even somebody like me can grab it. We can get it and we can move our life forward based on the principles. You know, if you just apply what this guy teaches, you're going to win. He's a winner. He knows how to do it, man. And, and he's a do it first leader. He don't just talk it, but he makes it happen. As a result, you know, talking about not talking about it, he's the top income earner with MWR Financial. All right. Uh, I mean, he's the only executive national director with MWR Financial at the moment. I mean, and he did that in record time. I mean, and he's broken every record that this company has ever set in its history. And so he set in the pace for so many to follow. And I'm, I hear people and meet people all the time say, oh, that guy's doing it. And so what I'm saying, yeah, he's doing it, but I want to do it too. And I'm just following his lead, man. I just want to watch him. I want to grow. I want to, you know, just be a part of what he's doing so that I can learn. He's mentored to millions. He's the founder of the Extra Digit Movement. I know you've got something you want to add, Andama. I, want, I just got to want to say this, Gerald. What I, I, because I, I've seen so many people, as you know, been yeah. around so many incredible leaders, but I don't say this lightly. I think he is the greatest trainer of all time. So we call him the GTO. So, wow. so that the GTO, that, that's, that's how powerful. That's why you got to lock in and make sure your pens are ready to take some great notes. So, Gerald, go on and finish up. I just had to well, mention that one thing. Well, I, I'm, a, I'm in 100% agreement with you. Every time I've been in the room with this guy, you know, I come out with pads of notes. I mean, it, it's it, he just drops. So, and here's the thing about him that makes him so special to me. He is so willing to help anybody because right. he wants people to win. I mean, he gives right. himself to it like I've never seen anybody do it. And right. for no financial gain at all, but just say, hey, I want, I want to be a part of you winning. So he's willing to share himself with so many people. So I love that about him. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome to the stage. MWR's national director, Mr. Brian N. B. We back. We back, man. Can y'all hear me okay? Yes, oh, yeah, absolutely. Virtual, virtual, virtual. What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> what's up? Thank you, man. Hey, what's I going appreciate on? it. I appreciate it, Gerald. You guys put the heat on, and I promise you, this scribble looks like nothing, but it's valuable, okay? I promise <laughs> you. <laughs> it looks like nothing, but I promise you, it's the best training you're going to hear tonight, man. So welcome, everybody, to the training portion of our call tonight. Gerald, you're phenomenal as usual. You started off with the energy we need. And I'm a way to bring it home with the list. And congratulations to everybody that is bronze, silver, gold, and even the qualifiers. Everything begins with qualifications. I want to go ahead and get this thing started, man. I want you guys to write this down. Now is not the time to play around. It's really not. Now is not the time to play around. Let me tell you why I'm saying this to everybody. Everything happens in phases. First we create, then we sustain, then we advance. Everything happens in phases. That's in life in general. First we create, then we sustain, then we advance. This promotion is no different. The first thing you're going to have to do, if you got 10 days left, it may take you, and I'm talking about a person, for example, who starts today. It may take you three days to create some momentum. You got to learn the business. You got to learn the catchphrases I'm about to give you. You got to learn to overcome your fears. You got to learn what it is we really do. You're brand new. It may take you from now to Saturday just to create some momentum and get your nervous jitters out the way. Thank God I'm going to give you the collapse version so it won't take you that long. Then you got to sustain that momentum. See, life is about to hit you. The job is about to start tripping. The spouse may start tripping. The weather may start tripping. Anytime you try to create something, negative forces and opposition automatically try to derail you to see if you deserve the advancement you're about to get. See, everybody on this webinar deserves some advancement. You deserve better pay. You deserve freedom and flexibility. You deserve the lifestyle that you want. You deserve for all your dreams to come true. 
But that those negative forces that are going to try to hit you, the naysayers, the negative people, the people who don't believe it, the family members who don't support you, and all those individuals that try to knock you off your game, they're going to come when you're trying your best to advance your momentum. So let me give you an example. It may take you three days to create. It may take you three days to sustain. And it may take you three days to advance. But the bottom line is you're going to be bad before you're good. And you're going to be good before you're great. Everybody looks at myself, for example, national director or somebody like Gerald Parker, who's excited and, and creating you know, senior directors in, in two days and one day. People miss this. We've already been through the create, sustain, advanced phase. What we now have is the experience to collapse it so you guys can get right in advanced mode. Put that in the comments. I want to see it. I'm in advanced mode. See, you don't have a lot of time to play around right now. I, I told you to write that down. This is not the time to play around. I want to tonight give you three steps to send you right to advanced mode. You're going to go through the phases, but I need you to stay on create for an hour. I need you to stay on sustain for an hour. I need you to stay in advance on advance for the next 11 days. <laughs> OK, so let's collapse some time here. Very, very simple. New people, listen to me and listen to me good. Put this in your notes. Do not work the business alone. Do not work the business alone. The three steps I'm about to give you allow you to incorporate tools and incorporate people and incorporate people who are better than you so you won't come out the gates in a stumbling pattern. See, I got a good training for you guys on, on the cash flow experience, man. I'm, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys a, an Olympic size training. I'm going to give you a little hint. I'm going to give you an Olympic size keynote on the 31st. But I want you guys to get this analogy now. If you come out the gate stumbling like a hurt, like a person who didn't quite clear the hurdle, it rattles your confidence when you hit the next, when that, when that runner gets to the next hurdle and they try to jump it, their confidence has already rattled because they, they may have clipped or hit their foot on the first one. And, it, and then everybody else is already gone. So it's very, very hard for you mentally to come out the gates when you come out and trip over your own feet. The reason these steps I'm about to give you are so important is because automatically we're going to show you that we got your back. Automatically, we're going to show you that the tools can explain it better than you. Automatically, we're going to show you that your upline has more experience than you. Automatically, we're going to show you that corporate has things in place that you don't even um, you don't need to do a whole bunch of creating. Automatically, we're going to show you that you're not in the business alone. The mistake that a lot of new people make is you think that collapse in time is this. I'm going to talk to them. I'm going to explain it to them. I'm going to answer their questions. I'm going to keep them motivated. I'm going to train them. I'm going to make sure I'm going to teach them how to get other people. I'm going to work with their other people's people. See, and what the, the thing that you're doing wrong in that whole scenario is the word I. I'm going to train them. I'm going to motivate them. I'm going to present to them. I'm going to answer their questions. I'm going to train their people's people. The word that you have wrong is I. When you think that collapse in time means you explain everything, it's actually the exact opposite. Let me give you guys an example. I wrote, I wrote this training years ago called Start Your Engines. OK, start your engines and in Start Your Engines. I use an example of a Bentley and a Ford Taurus. Here's the problem. Most people would love to drive a Bentley over a Ford Taurus. And I don't have a problem with that either. I, in fact, I totally agree. I would drive a Bentley all day over a Ford Taurus. Why? The Bentley has custom seats. The Bentley was put together not on an assembly line, but you order your Bentley today, you may not get it for two or three years because it's being put together. It's being customized. The Bentley has more expensive parts, so it takes them a lot longer to make. You may have some specialties in your Bentley, like the your hairrest may have your stitching with your initials on it it's a custom car it takes longer to produce that's why it's more expensive 
in this business, you want to treat your business like a Ford Taurus. See, the Ford Taurus, the parts are just on the assembly line and they just go down the conveyor belt. A machine puts the doors on, a machine puts the wheels on, a machine screws the wheels in, a machine puts in the stern wheel, a machine paints the car, a machine, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, make sure that uh, all the windows are installed and that it's, it's airtight, right? A machine makes sure that the engine works. A machine's gonna check the diagnostics. Well, while I got the assembly line going, the Ford Taurus, because I have the assembly line going, the Ford Taurus is a what? A more affordable car. And I can crank out 500 Ford Tauruses while you sitting around here waiting on your Bentley. The analogy that I want you guys to understand is you got to hurry up and learn the conveyor belt that's going to keep your business going while you at work, people still join it. While you eating dinner, people still join it. While you putting the kids to bed, people still join it because you got an assembly line or a factory mentality and not a customized Bentley mentality. Now we all wanna drive the Bentley, but you get there by creating Ford Tarses. Let me say that again. All of us wanna drive the Bentley, but you get your Bentley by creating your Ford Tarses. So Brian, what's my, what's my, when people say the system, what's the system I need to put in place? Three steps, you ready? One. Peak and pass. P-I-Q-U-E, peak and pass. That's step one. Two, three-way invitation. Three is the three-way close. That's your steps for the next 10 days. Peak and pass, three-way invitation, three-way close. Peak and pass, three-way three -way invitation, three-way close. Every step I just mentioned required something or somebody else. What you got to do is put the parts or in this case, the prospects on the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt will move and pass them. The conveyor belt will get them to someone more experienced and the conveyor belt will get your people closed. Don't get the Bentley mentality on me when I need you to drive a Ford Taurus and create 20 to 34 Tauruses over the next 10 days. Peak and pass means what? Pass them to a tool. Three-way invitation means what? Three-way them with another person. Three-way close means what? Three-way them with another person. Every step involves something else other than you. I personally, I think I'm up to 11 or 12. I think I'm at 12 personals as of today, right? Because I wanted to set an example. I wanted to do 12 personals myself since the uh, challenge began. And then now I can go out and hit what's called double goal, right? Now I can go out and help them get three and help them get three and help them get three. So I want to hit goal twice. So I wanted to go 12 wide during the challenge. And I think I got my 12th person probably today, right? Personally. So now I'm going for gold again in the next 10 days. Why? Because I understand the conveyor belt. Brian, how, how do you not get tired? No, I don't get tired because I use the tools. I'm not doing all the talking. I'm not doing all the explaining. I'm not doing all the q and I'm not doing all the chasing. I'm not doing all the persuading. I'm not doing all the convincing. I'm not doing a whole bunch of inducing. I'm not doing a whole bunch of selling. What I do a whole bunch of is exposing. That's what I do. I do a bunch of exposing. So, Brian, what do you mean exposed? That's the peak and pass. Let me explain it to you. Okay, I'm up against the clock. Let me explain this to you. The peak and pass is very, very simple. Please write this down. New people, ask questions. Ask questions. The best question you can ask is, have you ever heard of? That's the best question you can ask, because as humans, especially Americans, we're trained that if we don't know something, seek knowledge about it. Any time our economy takes a hit, do you know the number one industry that goes up is education? Because people say, man, my money's down. I need another degree. Man, my money's down. I need to learn something else. Man, the economy sucks. I got to go back to school. 
Do y'all know that education is the one industry that no matter what the economy is doing, education always skyrockets. Guess what we do? We can expose you to an educational platform where the experts do the work and you're going to learn along the way. So have you ever heard of gives me the opening I need to educate you on something you don't know? So, Brian, have you ever heard of what? Here's the peak and pass. Watch. Have you ever heard of making wealth real? Financial. See, have you ever heard of make wealth real financial? No, what is that? Watch. Have you ever heard of the money makeover? No, what's that? Watch. Have you ever heard of income shifting? I'm not saying use all three. I'm saying start your question with have you ever heard of? And you fill in the blank, whichever, whichever one you like most. You know why? Because of the system, they all lead to the same answer. See, when you try to create that Bentley and try to customize everything, you got to have a different answer for each one. Now, Brian, if they say this one, how do I answer that one? If they say that one, how do I answer this one? See, now you're overcomplicating the business and you're going to hit a hurdle. And we, don't, we only had 10 days for you to take advantage of the special. The system is going to clean up and answer all of your questions. Watch. Have you ever heard of the money makeover? No, what's that? You got time to watch a five minute video? You got time to watch an 11 minute video? See, what I'm doing is I'm answering a question with a question. What a lot of you guys that are brand new try to do, you try to explain too much and then the prospect is asking you a bunch of questions. Put this in your notes. The person who asks the most questions wins. The person who asks the most questions wins. So new people, during this promotion, you don't want to do a bunch of explaining. You want to do a bunch of asking questions. Hey, how do you feel about your finances in the next uh, five to 10 years? This is for, like for a good friend of yours. You feel good about your retirement in the next 20 to 30 years? See, that's a question. You ever heard of making wealth real financial? No, what's that? Man, you haven't? What about the uh, financial makeover? You ever heard of the financial makeover or the money makeover? No, what's that? You got 10 minutes You got uh, ten minutes to watch a quick video? I just asked you four questions. If you notice, I didn't answer anything. I answered their question with a question. You've been taught that when they ask a question, you got to answer the question. Brian, I got to be smart. I got to be educated. I don't want to look crazy in front of my people. When they need some information, I need to give it to them. And what you're doing, you don't realize it, you're giving power to the prospect. Because as long as they're hitting you with questions, you got to find an answer. And you got to come back with your answer. Well, what is that? Well, we got experts. Well, what do they do? Well, we help you in every area of your finances. Well, how much does it cost? Well, we're running a special right now. See, now they got you up against the rope, the ropes, because you allow them to have all the questions and posture. Brian, how do you get so many people? I ask everybody I know questions. Put this in your notes. Questions control conversations. Now, a lot of you guys don't think, I, I'm telling you guys, man, this is more simple than you think it is. The hard part is you overcoming your old habit of thinking you got to do a whole bunch of talking. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, if you have a lot of enthusiasm, that answers most questions. They won't even realize that you didn't ask, answer their question. I'm gonna go over this again. Questions control conversations. Let me see. Gerald Parker, if you out there, come back to the camera. I'll see you. Okay, good. You there? I'm here with you, sir. All right, Gerald, we're gonna role play real quick. I'm gonna show people how easy this is, okay? Okay. Have we ever practiced this before? Never. I got anything up my sleeve. Do you? <laughs> no. I don't any, see any, any camera tricks or slide of hand? Okay. All right. Rain, Rain, Gerald, we're good friends. How you feeling, man? Hey, man, if it gets any better, Brian, I won't be able to stand it. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Listen, you ever heard of this money makeover that's sweeping the country? No, I haven't. What about income shifting? No, I'm not familiar with that either. Gerald, you got to see it, man. We're missing out big time. You got five minutes to watch a quick video? Oh, sure. I'll do that. 
All right, it's going to answer the questions for you. But I figure since you haven't heard of it and it's sweeping the country, we may want to ship our income. We, we may want to have our makeover. How about that? I'm all in for that, sir. See, guys, my point is the question alone has the answer in it. See, y'all think you need to know all the answers. We may need to shift our income means, have you ever heard of income shifting? We mm. may need to make over our money means, have you ever heard of a money makeover? The answer is the key word income shifting money makeover hey Gerald, ring ring you ever heard of make wealth real no i haven't uh -uh. what is that gerald it's time for us to make wealth real see y'all well, see gerald y'all not gonna do that though see see y'all think you gotta answer you gotta answer what make wealth real is the answer is the question mm. gerald you never heard of make wealth real no i haven't does it sound like something you want to do oh absolutely make wealth real you got five minutes to watch a quick video? Sure. Perfect. Afterwards, I'll, in I'll introduce you to somebody that can show you how it all works. Good deal. See, guys, I asked him four, three or four questions. Gerald, have I explained anything to you? No, sir, nothing. Guys, this may be a little bit over your head, but just follow me. I want the new people to understand something. This is not hard, as hard as you think it is. I want you to remove the thinking that you have to do a bunch of explaining Gerald, the past, if you notice, Gerald, we still on step what? Step one. The peak was the question. The past is the tool. Right. Does that make sense? That makes sense. The peak is the question. The past is the tool, also known as the answer. I'm not saying, Gerald, you're not going to get the answer. I'm saying I'm not going to give it what? You're not going to give me the answer. I'm not going to give you the answer. But I am going to give you the answer, but I'm not going to give you the answer. You see the difference? You're going to allow the tools to give me the answer. Exactly. Now, Brian, what tool? Look, Gerald, you name it. Making Wealth Real has an awesome Financial Edge video. Am I right? Yes. All the teams have different leaders that have different um, pre-recorded presentations. Am I right? Yes. The situation is the boss. Put that in your notes. The situation is the boss. There are a lot of teams on here being represented. You got to make sure you get with your up line and say, what's our best what, Gerald? Tool. Tool. Now, new people, you can breathe a sigh of relief. Whew, I thought I had to go out and explain this thing. I thought I had to teach them how it worked. I th no, new people, you need to peak by asking what? The question. Questions. Gerald, I promise you, I get so many personal people because I'm good at asking questions. Gerald, you can be at the grocery store scanning my groceries. Hey, man, you're really good at what you do, but you'll be better at what I do. What is it that you do? Boom. You see, I learned how to shut up because they're going to ask me a what? Question. Question. Gerald, you ever heard of income shifting? No, I haven't. Man, your line is long. What about make wealth real? No. What is okay, that? I'll tell you what. Let me text you real quick. Let's exchange numbers. And let me give you, let's collaborate and see if we have some synergy later. Is that cool? That's, that's fine with me. See, a lot of you guys are trying to peek on the spot. You don't, you, I'm sorry, you're trying to explain on the spot. I peek and I leave. That's how I get so many people. Wow. So, Gerald, what I do now is I go gather myself. See, new people, you brand new, you nervous. And Gerald is at work. Gerald, you didn't, you didn't come to work today for me to hold up your line, did you? No. So, so I got to pique your interest with a couple of quick what? Questions. Then I say, listen, let's see if we have some synergy and some possible alignment and we may collaborate. Now, Gerald, I'm automatically bringing in some other what? People. People. Collaboration means automatically it's more than just me and who? Me and you. Now the pressure automatically comes off of who as the new person? Off of you. Off of me. I'm letting you know right now, I want to see if we have some synergy, a possible collaboration. Text me real quick. Take my number down. That means if you text me, I also got your what? Number. Now we do business when I go home and gather myself. And all I'm really going to do, Gerald, is pass you to what? <laughs> to, to the tools. To the tools. That's it. <laughs> That's it. New what? people, listen to me. Don't go out here. And explain. I'm giving y'all some million dollar game for free. Listen to me. Don't go out here and explain. I just gave you three questions. The answer to the question is in the question. Have you ever heard of? 
And ironically, the, the things that I tell you to peak have the answer in them. Make wealth real, Gerald, allows you to what? Make wealth real. Make wealth real. There you go. Income shifting allows you to what? Shift your income. Um, shift, right? <laughs> money makeover allows you to make over your, your money. So I take power and control over the conversation by asking you questions, not you asking me a bunch of questions. Mm. Make mm. sense? That's strong. Yes, sir. It makes a lot of sense. All right, Joe. I appreciate it, man. I'm gonna bring you, I'll bring you back in a second. Thank okay. you. New people. Listen, don't go out here and explain. When the person is answering questions, automatically they're telling you they want more information. Your job is to pass them the tool that your upline has given you to give them more information. Watch before I go. These last, that's the one I want to spend the most time on because these last two are easy. Now, after they watch the tool, you pull them into a three-way invitation. The three-way invitation is what's going to get them to an actual presentation, your Zoom, your webinar, your live. Everybody this week is on their own, meaning the teams, the leadership, they're having webinars and Zooms all week. Once you pass the video and that person says they want more information, you're going to connect them with the expert who's going to get them to the presentation. That's called the three-way invite. After the presentation is over for your team and your Zoom and your live and what you guys are doing, you're going to do another three-way for a close. Each step, ladies and gentlemen, has another person involved or another tool involved. Here's why before I go, my 30 minutes is up. I really want you to think about this. I told this to my team the day before yesterday. There's something about it being two of us and one of you prospect. The one is the prospect. The two is me and my business partner. The two is me and my upline. The two is me and anybody else other than you. You're outnumbered. So if two of us are saying the money makeover is incredible, the experts have saved us tremendously, the, fin the um, making wealth real is truly making wealth real, and we're income shifting, you want to know psychologically what we are doing. That's why you have to incorporate another person. Watch. If it's prospect and me, now that's a one-to-one -one ratio. Now your guess is as good as mine. Your words are just powerful as mine. Your opinion is just powerful as mine because I'm not outnumbered. See, what a lot of you guys are doing, the prospect has their opinion, you got your excitement. They got an opinion, you got your excitement. They got questions, you got answers. They got more questions, you got more information. You're losing. And guess what? You're tired. You're tired. Because this prospect is trained to be negative. What is it? Is it one of them things? I ain't got no money. I ain't got no time. I'm an old taxes. I already got bad taxes. I got bad credit. This is a credit company. I pay somebody else to fix my credit. They ain't fixed my credit yet. See, they armed to be negative. Been negative 40 years. Here you are one day in some excitement. You outnumbered, my friend. The only way to even this battle up is it got to be two of y'all. Now, psychologically, this person must be the one that's wrong because two of us agree and you don't. New people, let me tell you something. Keep trying to build a business by yourself. Keep trying to do all the talking and explaining. Keep trying to get your prospect to understand everything. Keep making, keep having 30 minute phone calls and the 10 days are gonna be gone before you know it. Me, I peek, ask you some questions, pass you a tool. Then get somebody else on the phone to get you to a presentation. Then get the last person on the phone, which is number uh, three, to close you out. One more point before I go. Do you know that billion dollar companies, billion dollar companies use three ways to become billion dollar companies? and you won't use three ways to become a millionaire? Let me say this again. Billion dollar companies use the three-way concept of including three people 
and they make billions of dollars because it's psychological. And you won't do a three-way to save your life and become a, a millionaire. Brian, prove it to me. Okay, let me prove it to you. You go get a new car. You're at the car lot or a used car. It doesn't matter. You're at the car lot. Initially, you're dealing with a salesman. Hey, ma'am, what color you like? Hey, sir, what year you want? You want a sedan or you want a coupe? You want green or you want red? You want black or you want white? I want black. I want a 2020. I want a coupe. So it's one-on-one. -on -one. When it's time to close the deal, he brings in his finance manager. Now, when the deal doesn't close or you start acting funny, he got to leave and go talk to this guy that you never meet. Then he come back by himself. Hey, man, my, uh, my finance manager said that you got to put down a little more. Hey, uh, ma'am, uh, my finance manager said, see, he don't want to argue with you or he'll lose the sale. So the finance manager becomes the expert behind the curtain. And next thing you know, you walk away with a car. They two on one you. They two on one you. Go to a restaurant. The hostess seats you. The waiter takes your order. The manager will come check on you. If it's a real fancy restaurant, somebody else brings you dessert. And another person cleans the table. Five people waited on you so you feel special when you leave the restaurant. They outnumbered you. If the person that took your order also cleans the table and also check on you and also take the money and also is usually a pretty shabby, small establishment. Three ways are used to make billions. I need you to use these three steps to make millions. I see Brian House just joined us. Mr. House, I appreciate it, man. I want to give these guys a quick 30 minutes. I hope everybody got what they needed. He can pass. Three-way invite, three-way close. That way you're not working a business for the next 10 days by yourself. You know what, Brian? Listen, I'm going to say this real quick because uh, we're, we are on a time crunch, but I, I really don't even care. If, if you've got more you want to share, feel free to do it. But uh, you're, you're absolutely right. And here's the thing, guys, that everybody needs to understand is that it's already proven. What he's talking about is already proven. There's a reason why he's the number one income earner in this company. What he just shared with you, if you duplicate that, if you do exactly what he just told you to do, you can be a top income earner too. Facts. Here, believe it. Believe it. It, it. It's a fact. Systems are what create wealth. Yep. Not you by yourself. I promise you. That's right. Okay? I don't, I, I'm not in the position I'm in because I do everything all by myself. I have wonderful people around me and Damo and Sonia and an unbelievable staff and IT team, everything mm. that if I had to do it all myself, I'd never win. That's right. Okay. But if you partner with other people and, and Brian, I want you to explain one thing to everybody. Cause I know there's a question that people are asking. Okay. Who, who do I three way with? Yeah. Who do I three way with? Yeah. So here's the thing you three way, honestly, with anybody, but yourself in the ideal world it's your upline but you want to make sure that as long as you speak highly of, it could be a business partner it could be a sideline it's normally the upline because that person has the most to gain or your sponsor that person has the most to gain or benefit from but the academy that's in everybody's back office i show you exactly what to say it's literally a 90 second phone call a 30 second phone call so anybody can do your three-way, but in the perfect world, it's your sponsor or somebody in your upline. You really don't want to inundate somebody who already has their own team and they're trying to take care of all of those with your three ways. Stay in the lineage of the people who have the most to benefit because they're going to do the most three ways for you. Exactly. And, I, and I'll add to that by saying this, and that is that, guys, just realize you know way more than your prospects know. Period. Automatically. And when there are two of you, even if you're both new That's in right. the business, even if you're both new in the business, you know something they don't. And I'll collectively, know. collectively, you have the advantage. That's it. All right. And it's not so much that you're pressuring them. 
because we have a philosophy around here, don't we, Brian? We don't get people into mean? MWR Financial. We let people into MWR right. Financial. That's okay, right. this is an exclusive invitation only membership. That's right. Okay, you don't get into this company unless we invite you in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that that's a big deal. But at the same time, uh, two of you collectively, all right, no matter who you are, no matter how new you are in the MWR financial, you know more than that prospect. And your two minds together, all right, are way more convincing than you by yourself. That's right. All right. I can tell you that. So with that, Brian, listen, amazing training. Thank I'm you. I'm going to recommend something here real quick. Uh, tonight, I know there's a lot of people doing things and there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of presentations happening tonight because we extended this. Uh, I'm going to recommend get this training, get this video, not, not even the first part. I'm talking about the part Brian did tonight. Make sure every new person on your team, make sure every existing person on your team has this training. Hmm. Because if they follow these steps, they're going to win. That's Why right. Now, period. And they, yeah. And the Academy will back it. You guys don't have, don't go study all yeah. that stuff. Just go to the, the quick video. It's broken down and just, and get with your upline. You, all your districts and areas, they're seasoned. I, my job tonight, new people, was to give you, this is what you do. And anything outside of that, you're wasting time. If you're not peeking and passing, inviting them, with somebody else and closing them with somebody else, you're wasting time. We'll upload documents and all of that, I promise you, August 1st, July 31st. But right now, you want to get that assembly line going and get your mistakes out the way. So in 10 days, you'll be excellent. Awesome. Awesome. And guys, listen, uh, it, Brian, you did an amazing job. I greatly appreciate everything. Uh, let's go knock it out of the park. We've got 10 days, 10 days. Brian tied this training to this promotion. Understand this training, it's the same thing over and over, even after this promotion. That's it. All right. It doesn't just tie to this. And he's right. We've got a great business academy that he's put together. You're able to learn from the top money earner in the company uh, exactly how he's done it. So, uh, Brian, thanks again. I appreciate you, buddy. As always, uh, you're so generous with your time and, and so willing to help everybody and so humble about it. So, could, couldn't ask for a better guy to, to be leading the way. I, I appreciate it, man. Go appreciate you. Yes, appreciate you. Gerald and Damo, everybody have a great night. We're going to get off here and uh, share this with everybody you know, guys. Good night.